how incredible is this? Exclusive access to one of the most famous theatres in London. Look at the stage is set for tonight's performance of The Nutcracker. Hello, hello, hello. Merry Christmas, everyone. Look how festive it looks here in the amazing St. Martin's Lane. Sinead here with Free Tours by Foot London. We are going on another adventure for the West End and Covent Garden. Stay tuned. Another one of our spectacular Christmas vlogs this year, ladies and gents. I'm excited to show you what's happening in Covent Garden. Stay tuned. So I kind of came down here briefly with Canis on our most recent video of Christmas traditions in London. Um, but this is taking us through St. Martin's Lane, ladies and gents. And as you can see, all the theatres in the area. There's the famous Noel Coward Theatre. And uh, the Geegold is along here. We also have the Colosseum along this very street. But I want to take you in to the atmosphere of Covent Garden. And we're going to see the amazing decorations today. Uh, it's so exciting to hear all about how many of you are decorating your trees to our festive Christmas videos. That is absolutely endearing to me that you're even taking the time and having them on in the background. This is always so wonderfully decorated. Look at Mrs. Fogg's Tavern. This beautiful gin tavern. Um, inside here with a massive selection of gins. It's a very popular drinking establishment in London. But let's make our way up here. Parties. Let's have a look here. Oh yeah, now, I love these guys here. Every year they get it right. This is Instagram heaven, of course. I'm just gonna have to try and get these girls out of the way. We're at Claus Maggiorio, which is fabulous fine dining in Covent Garden. But look how pretty that is. Santa's carriage and the two reindeer. Look how wonderful. It's impossible to get the right shot sometimes, but look at that. They always pull it out of the bag at Claus. Maggiore. That's quite different to what they had last year, actually. And there you have it. So let's head down. Oh, look how lovely this courtyard is, you guys. It truly is like a little sanctuary in the middle of the lunacy of Covent Garden. But that's what it's all about. It's the history of the theatre in this area. There's over 30, I believe it's 16 theatres in the area, actually. And uh, the first theatre was the Theatre Royal Drury Lane. Look how pretty, my lovelies. So if you just need to escape the world, this is on the grounds actually of a local churchyard, church graveyard in the area, but they even go about it and put a wonderful little decorations up. It's beautiful. Now this is always a big draw for families. I mean, it's so festive here. It's no wonder it's one of the most visited sites in London. Okay, let's head out. Now, it's history of buskers and street entertainers and performers. It was first Street entertainment was firstly mentioned in one of Samuel Pepys's books, dating all the way back to 16... 32 but look at the magnificent tree folks how beautiful is she I always refer to Christmas trees as she by the way 60 foot over 30,000 twinkling lights and decorations were put on it as well that's a lot of work went into that so let's have a look inside the Apple market okay so the giant mistletoe are always a big favorite and the beautiful baubles. Now, on the hour, every hour, you have snow flurries here as well. The kids love that, guys. Look at these. Now, if you're looking for gift ideas, it's all souvenirs and hand prints and handmade jewelry. Beautiful little handmade and knit teddy bears. Now, it's obviously super busy, as you can see, but nothing like as busy as it was on the weekends. So. Now, 
Now down here, I believe, we have an amazing Santa sleigh. Now the sleigh is attracting a big crowd down here. So I just want to show you this reconditioned 1884 carriage that has been hand painted by a, chap, a British artist, a chap called James Gemmell. And he, this is the newest introduction this year. And it's great for little kids and they're, uh, well, the big kids too. Look at that inside in their little sleigh. And that's a great little holiday or family photo, isn't it? Thank you. How great that is. Let's have a look at it. Hand painted and a recreated Santa sleigh. That's probably the best shot I'm going to get, folks. There's a queue to get on here. But that's cute with the little boy in it. It's a lovely little family photo. And a wonderful addition to Covent Garden. Look at that in the background. Oh my God, it's so pretty here right now. Right, let's head outside. A very pleasant meander today because it's nice and quiet around here, which is amazing for us. Now, do you want to have a look? Let's have a little look. Do you want to have a look as if you can answer me? <laughs> to show you what's on offer here in the Jubilee Market. down here to meet the lovely Sandra who is serving according to our customers as well they're on the Christmas lights tour with Canis the best mull wine in London so I am going to have a quick chat with her and she's gonna serve us up some amazing wine Hi Sandra would you mind giving me the usual my darling Gir girls and boys this is the best small wine in Covent Garden now you have a choice of everywhere you go but if you want a beautiful smiling face it's nice independent business lovely hot salt beef bagels on offer as well but look what I'm getting to warm me up thank you darling is business good yeah. Fantastic. Happy Christmas, Sandra. So I'm going to walk around with this fabulous. So don't forget, Sandra, when you're in Covent Garden, you guys, she's right outside the Jubilee Market and she will serve you up the best mull wine in London. Now, that isn't just down to me. That's according to my customers as well. So bear that in mind. Thank you, lovely. Thank you. Oh, my God. I'm so looking forward to this, you guys. Mull wine is in hand. Now, here's a little woodland. Last year they had the snow globes here, but now it's a place where you can dine and drink. Look how pretty this is. And the main entrance is in here. So let's see what's on offer in the menus. Christmas cocktails, festive food, Christmas cocktails, eight pounds, festive food, nine sweet and savory crepes from five pounds let's have a look around Okay, just another one of those lovely places where you can get a nice bite to eat and sit in the warmth of outdoors. Right, what's coming up here on the left? Let's have a look. Look at this new amazing Dolce & Gabbana pop-up. Now this stands out on its own. It's a little pop-up for Christmas shopping in Dolce. D&G, oh my God, an amazing Instagram spot again. Not surprising, people are queuing yes. up to get the perfect image. 
Now I'm gonna bring you in though to have a look inside. Look how pretty. I mean, it's very dolce. Let's pop in and see if we're allowed to have a little film inside. I hope we will. Dolce and Gabbana Christmas market. Wow, wow. It is so pretty. I'm loving it. So festive. What do you think? The iconic image. Dolce and Gabbana. Wow. Wonderful addition to the Covent Garden this year. Would you make an amazing picture out of that actually? Okay, let's have a look inside. Right, how lovely. I'm in everybody's selfie now. Put it down here. This is the winter wood. So this is where you're going to get all your amazing videos and pictures. Here we go. Right, this is where the Frozen exhibit was last year, guys, as well. Let me go in here, a little look around. Let's see. It's a little winter wood. I believe there's going to be the London Gospel Choir going to perform here later on today. Now, I do know that there is a beautiful bar on top of one of these buildings. I'm just going to see if we can get up there. Beautiful decorated window of Guerlain. I know my customers will have a heart attack at my pronunciation there. Look at that store window. Isn't that stunning? Guerlain, Guerlain, Guerlain maybe, Guerlain. My French customers will be screaming at their tellies right now saying this is terrible. Molten brown, lovely gift sets for, for Christmas, you guys. We all love a good bath and body gift set, don't we? Yeah, and mulberry. Oh, the dream. Look at the mulberry bag. Must be the newest in the season. Wow, what an amazing gift. See the other, oh, the miniature mulberries, look at them. Oh, wow, they're like little wallets and pockets. Oh, you could window shop here for hours on end, folks. So I just wanted to take you inside this kind of hidden gem in London. Well, it's not a hidden gem, but the Royal Opera House. But if you wanted to just come in here and enjoy the foyer, and have a nice 
cup of coffee or indeed head upstairs into the terrace bar look at what's hidden here in the corner a beautiful royal opera house so let's have a look around at some of the little souvenirs now of course every year it's famous for its swan lake production and i believe the nutcracker as well now i've never attended anything here i must come actually beautiful little gift ideas mozart in paris so this is your obligatory shop of course now i spoke to the duty manager and he was absolutely more than willing to let me have a little look around Stairs. look how wonderful this is so if you just want to escape the craziness of covent garden for a little while why not head in here this gives us the foundation of the royal information about the royal opera house covent garden foundation which is a registered charity and look at the lovely little selection of treats they have on offer here isn't this marvelous mussels is that mussels wow no maybe not look at these gorgeous banana bread premium chocolate vegan loaf polenta orange polenta cake I'm going to show you this amazing costume that was used during the High Priest Ramphus, i.e. in 1968. So this cloak was made for Paul Plischka, who sang the role of Ramphus, the High Priest of Isis, in 1977. Another one of the costumes from Aida, look at this. Made for the King of Egypt in that production. This intricate cloak was crafted in 1977 for Robert Lloyd, who performed as the king of Egypt, for Egypt, father to Amneris, Aida's love rival. Wow, just people are so talented, it's incredible. Ladies and gents, I've just met the, most, the two most wonderful people. Sal is the duty manager here, and this wonderful chap, Lewis, He's actually going to escort me around and he's going to give us a little VIP tour of inside the Opera House. Let's do this. Are you ready? Thank you, darling. He's taking us up. Look at this elegant staircase. So, um, yeah, sometimes you get lucky and you meet the nicest people in London, folks. But I suppose it helps that I did charm you guys a little bit, right? <laughs> Look at the hall here. Wow. So he's going to take me up to see the crush room, I believe. Do you want to cross room first? We'll see the, I'll see the Hamlin Hall first. Oh, this is a bar. So, Look. The champagne bar. Well, this is the champagne bar. Yeah, and um, <gasps> also as well. Look, Look at here, this. The ground floor. Yes. They serve on the ground floor, and the balcony is at the top. That's where they also serve as well. Oh my days, amazing. And is this open to the public? So anyone can come up here for a nice glass of champagne and peace and quiet yep. from the mania as, of Covent Garden. As long as there's not a private event. As long as there's no private event booked. That's amazing. Well, so that's the Hamlin Howell, folks. This is another one to put on your, your bucket list when you come to London. And now he's going to take me up to see this beautiful... What's an, oh, wow. What's known as the Crush Room look how plush and elegant this is look at the artwork folks the ceilings are so high this is incredible this has been the icing on the cake thank you so much sweetie this is adorable well we'll be coming here for a treat very soon so if you are enjoying the tour so far go ahead and click that like and share button and help others discover this video and for more virtual tours of London and beyond, consider subscribing to our channel. Be sure to visit our website to learn more about our in-person tours and London travel tips. We also offer live and virtual tours in cities throughout the world. You can help support this channel by donating through the thanks button or by buying your tour guide a pint or a cup of coffee. Links to do so are in the description below. Now back to the tour. Oh my days. This is spectacular. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like I'm in Windsor Castle yet again. The Great Hall of Windsor. 
Is that water for crystal, do we know? <gasps> Look at this. So if you want to schedule your private party, my apologies. So this is where you have private dining, folks. I don't want to disturb people who are just arriving for their reservation, so I got lucky. So you can make an uh, appointment, of course, or a reservation at the crush room. It would be naturally formal attire only. No casual dressy here. You have to be dressed up. But uh, So unfortunately, we can't get in to see the theater because the Nutcracker is showing presently in the stunning theater. But we will try and find a link to the inside of the orchestra stalls. And this is where you'd arrive for the production of the Nutcracker. The auditorium is off limits at the moment. Look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. He's letting me in, you guys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my. You are phenomenal. I love these boys. They're amazing. This is where you come for the Nutcracker, folks. It is dark, but we're going to try and lighten it up. Oh, you are the best. Oh, my God. I can't. This is spectacular. Oh, ladies and gents, look at this. Oh my days. Do I need a flash if I can? Look at this. I am being spoiled rotten here. Is there any way of flashing that? Oh, there we go. Let me just walk down here and just, can I go down here and just look up? Right, I'm getting excited. I'm just standing here. They're doing a check. Look at this. Ladies and gents, look at the auditorium. How phenomenal. What's that? Trying to get the best I can for you here, folks. It's very dark in here, but I'm doing what I can. So look at this stage is set for one of the most famous productions of them all, The Nutcracker. How incredible. Look at this, guys. Look at where The Nutcracker is going to be performed this evening. Now, what a special place. And access, compliments of the wonderful Leon and the manager, Sal. I can't thank you enough. This is stunning. So where are we going to go next, folks? He's going to take me up to the terrace now. I'm a bit excited. I did get to go in there and film to show you where the Nutcracker inside the actual auditorium, but it's very dark. So I'm going to go back in a few minutes. He's given me more permission when all the lights are on. I'm super excited for you guys. Well, I'm excited for myself. So we're going to take the elevator up, gold right up. Look at the beautiful gold lifts. Of course, they're gold lifts. And we're going to head up to the bar and the terrace and get an amazing view of Covent Garden. The elevator here and every room is more glamorous than the next, folks. So here we are. They're just giving you some bits of information about some of the productions that took place here over the years. This is the Fiery Angel, the Royal Ballet Tombeau, the Royal Ballet Giselle. Swan Lake. 
A new Royal Ballet production by choreographer Liam Scarlett was premiered, what does it say there? Here to critical acclaim, breathing fresh life into the 19th century masterpiece. Look at the costume. How stunning. Wow, look at our bar upstairs, folks. Look at this. How wonderful. And look at the ballet slippers. God, everywhere you go, you're reminded of the amazing dancers that have worked here over the years. Anyway, so have a good day. Okay, look at this view. Oh. Wow. Now this is the champagne bar we were just looking down on. Isn't that spectacular? Hidden away corner in Covent Garden. We didn't even know this exists. This is where we will be putting our glad rags on and coming for a wonderful evening. This is incredible. And this one is called the Champagne Bar. That's right. Paul Hamlin. Hamlet. Paul Hamlin and these. So, some people call it Champagne Bar. Well. Right, so Hamlin's Bar or the, the Champagne Bar, the Royal Opera House. Look at the building, folks. I mean, where would you get it? Right, and we are going to head to the outdoor terrace, I think. And see what we can see over Covent Garden. Oh, look at the stunning costume. Just going to show you this amazing costume here, folks. <gasps> wow. Bluebird. The tutu was worn by Alfreda Thorogood in 1973 for the new production of the ballet, The Sleeping Beauty. She was partnered in the role that year by Michael Coleman and her husband, David Wall. Look how beautiful. <laughs> And this is the restaurant section. Look how wonderful it is in there as well. Another place that you can eat. So this tutu was made for Leanna Benjamin, principal of the Royal Ballet in 1994, for the role of Princess Florin Florine in Act Three of The Sleeping Beauty. Wow. So let's head out onto the icing on the cake. Look at this bar, guys. How, now there is a few private parties around. Look at this. Oh my days. There, above us, below us, is Covent Garden. Look how fabulous. Wow. Not a bit cold either, it's fully heated. Oh, so this is where you can actually lean out on the outdoors. I got it. Oh my days. Look, ladies and gents. The best kept secret in London. And here is Covent Garden from the rooftop. Look at that. And you get to sit in the warmth up here and enjoy all the atmosphere downstairs. Look at the London Eye. And Sushi Samba, yeah, that's right, Leon. He's just pointing it out to me there. Wow. Now, you want your rooftop experience in London? There's a London Eye in the background. You've got to get to the rooftop terrace bar here at the Royal Opera House. Hey, okay, so let me just show you the terrace here, folks, and where you would be. Look at that. Now, this is the icing on the cake. Covent Garden from the rooftop. So I'm going to go and have a mulled wine. I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the auditorium. How incredible is this? Exclusive access to one of the most famous theatres in London. Can you even imagine how phenomenal this is? Look at the detail in the stalls and the balcony. Look at this. Honestly, 
it's breathtaking. Let's have a look again. Go in the centre here. Just going to go in the centre just to show you where the best view is. A look at the stage is set for tonight's performance of the Nutcracker. And one look from the stage at what you're looking down on. Isn't it just breathtaking, folks? How? I am so beyond grateful to Sal and Leon for being so accommodating and absolutely charming. Thank you sincerely. Look at the stage, all set for tonight's performance. That's it, folks. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Sinead again signing out here with free tours by Foot London in the Royal Opera House. Hope you enjoyed this as much as me.